Ewan. Yeah. It's more the shore. Oh. Are are you ready to go ashore? You're you're about yeah. to solve the puzzle. Wow. Yay. What a puzzle. Oh. I went up to a thing and said hi. What a relief, it's over, right? And then back to a thing and said hi. Roll credits. <gasps> oh no, our respawn's getting slurpy sounding. You. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's slurpy sounding. And it, in the slurpy vision. They just stick you in a blender every time. <laughs> <laughs> Pour you back out. That weird pattern is you spinning around really fast. <laughs> Doop -a -doop -a -doo. That's just motion blur. Ew, my beam is blue. Ew. Does it taste like raspberry? It does. Do the snozberry taste like snozberries? I <laughs> always wondered why they had that going on in the thingy. Apparently there were plans to remake that movie again. Uh, a prequel. A prequel? A prequel, yeah. A different prequel than the Johnny Depp one. So can I not freeze this dude? Yeah. I guess not. Remember all those lessons you learned in the, in the previous parts of the game? <coughs> they mean nothing! No. Okay. Do you, do you remember you had a run button at one point? Not anymore. I still have it, it just doesn't work. No. Or it doesn't make a noticeable difference. Take my balls. Yeah. Alright. Why did it do that? I don't know. Shouldn't the sphincter thing just open up? You'd think so. Hmm. Instead of spinning around like a Beyblade? What was that? Oh. Ignore it. It's fine. Okay. Hello, eyeball. Wasn't there a thing that was chasing you? Yeah. Whatever happened to that? So what am I doing to these things? Playing red light, green light. Am I just straddling cubes? Mm -hmm. Oh, bigger cubes. Oh, am I supposed to copy? Little cube, big cube. Oh. Yes? I don't know what I did. But I did it. Hooray, you opened up the sphincter door. The you, sphincter door. You, you lined up the eyes. <laughs> Is that one open if I do a different thing? Probably. I don't know. None of this game makes any sense. Y'all grabby hands. It makes no sense in the wrong ways. Now, I don't get how I'm supposed to avoid these. They're the wall masters from Legend of Zelda. Or the, the ceiling barnacles from uh, Half-Life. Kinda. Please go through again. Thank you. Cool. What are you? Are you mine now? Yep. Okay, get out of my face a little bit. That is really blurry. Why is this... <sighs> and now you have a squid hand. Okay. My fingers are even more squiddy than ever. Squiddly diddly. I got the squiddly diddlers. Oh my god. Howdly doodly, gonna squiddle your doodle. Are you hurting it? I no. guess. Oh, now you're faster. Do you just come right back? I'm not gonna assume anything's dead if you kill it. <laughs> <coughs> Considering it's like, oh, here's a couple enemies, kill them. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they immediately respawn, though. <coughs> well, your first enemies, they die. Yeah. They're gone. Second enemies, no, we don't die. Nope. This one. Maybe? Oh, no, there was the other one where it just slows him down. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, you're just carrying this squid. Oh. Bye-bye. Alright, so that was the key. I guess, but it also made me capable of murdering. Oh, okay. What the heck? Slow down, fella. Settle down. Why does it run so fast? Yeah, stop. Stop. Can you stop? 
Oh, quit it. Okay, so it's another one of the ones where you just have to keep shooting it. What? Alright. <clears throat> this game is starting to confuse me with the game design. <laughs> Even more so. It's like, oh, here's a squidly diddly. They'll kill you. This one doesn't get stunned. This one just dies eventually. Just yeah, it's like some it. of them will get stunned. This one looks like it gets stunned, and then it'll just die. Other ones, they will not get stunned, but they die. Others just die. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Oh. Where's the convention to the enemies? It's inconsistent. Uh, do I go up or down? <clears throat> Uh, hero's journey you always go up. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, conventionally speaking, using existing games as a template, always go up. Okay, we went up just to go back down. Yeah, so you're not the hero. Dang. Yeah. Oh no, there's neon touchy fingers? Hey, it's a mouth! I can't wait to die at the end of this hall and have to do this all over again. Just eats you. Come on, open wide. Good boy. Okay, where'd the teeth go? Clip them to the ground. <coughs> Ew. Oh, puzzle door. Puzzle door. He's my favorite Harry Potter character. Mm -hmm. Puzzle door. Puzzly door. Let's go. Okay, come on, buddy. Do your job. You are too far from it. Even though sometimes it has zero range, other times it's got full range. I don't know. How silly of you. This is a game about eldritch horrors and abominations. Why should it make sense? Why should it follow any conventions? Boss battle. Okay. Are you a boss? Do I have to kill your babies? Okay. Appear to be doing damage. Oh, maybe I gotta get rid of those. Oh, I hate it already. I mean, it's fine. But, it's not fun. Well, I get rid of the glowy things and it'll probably allow me to deal damage. Die. Thank you. This boss arena reminds me of the boss arenas from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn for some reason. I haven't played it yet. I'd recommend it. I have it for PS4 and I have it for PC and I still haven't played it. Really? Yeah. Steam Summer Sale, baby. Am I supposed to shoot this? Or this? <laughs> You. Do I take it? I guess so. Did you just steal its taint goo? I took its jubblies. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more jubblies for you, Mr. Monster Man. I will empower the heads of the fallen. Find a way to empower? Okay. Uh-huh. Maybe we have to give, give it its own holiday. Okay, I guess I that'll, go in his mouth. That'll empower it, right? Yeah, give it its own holiday. Okay, can we climb in ya? No. Well, then why give me the option to climb in a mouth? Do I give you power? Oh, shoot it in the okay. eyes. Okay. And then it's full of spiders. Uh, it's gonna spawn a bunch of stuff, and you gotta try not to shoot other eyes and stuff. You got eyes? There you go. Hey, boom, boom. Okay, can you just tickle <laughs> someone else? Okay. Did you do it? Which ones am I missing? Your eyes missing. Your eyes. Oh. 
Why did you wait so long to say it? Okay. Which hand? Pick a hand. That any one. Hand. Did, did, you, did you win? I guess so. You can shoot it up in the sky. Okay. Why, why couldn't you do that to signal your ship? So yeah. you can go home. Yeah, I'll go home and then show my family and be like, <laughs> I got a silly tickle finger. Why is he the only one that gets to call his Uber? Wow, it's the thing we climbed into? Or... I don't know. Can I have my triangle back? Please? Triangle, please? Oh, there it is. It's the big one. Yeah, yeah darn know. fella. Give it back. Did we win? I roll, don't know. Roll credits? Come on. What? To be continued. Really? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. May I move now? Mm. Please? This looks pre-rendered. Oh. Now I'm in the game. Hello. Oh, people. What? Come on. Are you dead? You had to activate a person? Okay. I get to look at my backstory. There, I was born. Let me activate them <laughs> cheeks. Boom. Yeah, it's giving me the option. Yeah. Okay. Uh, offer up the child. Oh, is this Bioshock Infinite now? I don't know. Where, where, where that's uh, what's her name? Uh, and I forget her name, but she was a good character. <laughs> and, and you're the guy? Yeah. Who does the thing? Booker? Yeah. Or something? Booker DeWitt? Yeah, that's the name. For some reason, that name makes me think of Fallout, though. Seems like a Fallout name. You're thinking of Preston. Preston Garvey. Yeah. Oh, no, you guys are... Turning into people I recognize. You're the old fella. With the mutton chop. From the photo. Do you still have your inventory? No. Why did I even have an inventory? I have lost everything. Okay. Your mind. Give me the baby. Yeah, he freaking glowing. Or she. That's Parkour. <laughs> you Check pants this. yourself. <laughs> You Melvin yourself. Stop having fun. Stop having fun and play the game. Yeah. Fine. Bonk. Bonk. Stay with me. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Can I glow a cat? It just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! You're not supposed to glow the cat. Just a note. It, don't glow the cat. Achievement get. You, you glowed up the cat. Uh, what are you? What is anything? I guess when you're using abstract ideas, you don't need to have a... Very... Story that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't need to be cohesive. Can I talk to you for a second? Mr. Manager? It's not confusing, you just don't understand it. Duh. Okay, do I need to talk to someone else along the way? Did I miss one? Probably. Oh, it's that thing. Probably. The one glowy thing. The thing that you walked by that wasn't obvious? Yeah. Oh, and there's another one. What? Please tell me that just spawned when I pressed the other one. What? Oh. Now I gotta spin this one. Can't do it out of order. Wow. Can't activate something that doesn't have lasers. <sighs> yeah, I wish it was the mirror puzzle from Legends of Zelda. Where you can like kinda shine them around a little bit. Yeah, do it out of order, but you can still do it. Or no, do it manually. Mm-hmm. Like, 
Is that you? Don't just activate it. Ellie. Oh, and now you don't have to Stay press right a button. That's handy. Hello, Mr. Mask. Don't you like it when the game takes its controller away from you? Yeah. I didn't want to play the game. I mean, if I wanted to watch a video game, I'd play, uh, Tales from Borderlands. Yeah. Or that one with zombies in it. The Walking Dad? <laughs> the walking, walking Dad? <laughs> the Joaquin Phoenix? I thought you said the Walking Dab. <laughs> the Walking Dab? Uh. <laughs> they're, they're, they're zombies, but they're all dabbing. Mm-hmm. I created a daughter that you never had. Is this the mask the daughter? Is yeah. She referring to herself in third person. Stop lying to me. It's not possible. <sighs> I'm a sleepy fella. Oh, the girl from Bioshock is named Elizabeth. Elizabeth, that's right. Are they gonna make another Bioshock game? No. Infinite was already just <laughs> not even Bioshock. It, it mm. wasn't. You, you have to play the DLC first uh, before okay. the game. Because that's where the game is. Which makes no sense. Uh oh, <laughs> look out child, there's a burly man gonna go slap you upside the head. So if your character just walked away, why is the camera pulling back? I don't know. Which one know. are you? Are you the character or the camera? The camera. Is he awake? That's the game? Yep. What the hell? Most of that wasn't even puzzles. It was just like, figure out what we want you to do. You're welcome. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like seeing these designs in the background here. Because you don't get a good look at them in game. You you're too busy not looking at them and running away. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of people get games wrong, where they're like, "I really, really, really gotta make a gorgeous model that's gonna be chasing you, so you can't really look at it." Hmm. Right. You can make really nice simplified games. Mm -hmm. For example, Super Hot. Super Hot is awesome super hot is amazing it's spectacular even the vr it's so good um what was the the one that was using the same tech and it was jumping from truck to truck uh f cluster truck yeah i yeah. like that one you can break that so easy oh yeah speed runs of that game are amazing yeah i got really good at it not good anymore but i was good <laughs> i believe these are the backer credits yes i do believe so I'm, I'm glad these are so long. Can we skip them? Uh, can I press the space bar? Can I click, click. clicky? Escape? No. Enter? Can I walk? No. Nope. Well. If you play the game Castle Story, my name is in the credits. Ooh. Yeah, I backed that one. Castle Story by uh, Sauropod Studios. Ooh. Darth Vader guitar player. Jesus Christ, some of these names. Uh, so what would you give this game out of 10? Story-wise, Metal Gear Solid out of 10. Hmm? It makes sense if you don't think about it. It mm -hmm. makes no sense if you think about any of it. Um, there's a lot of things that they could do for like quality of life improvements to make it more... I think the issue with the streamlined. that... Is that if it was more streamlined, this would be one hour. A lot of places you can get stuck because you don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. A lot of places look like you can go, but you can't. There's a lot of things you missed. There is replayability to get all the achievements. Yeah. What I would like is this main menu as you complete things to change. You can see stuff in the background. Like, yeah. You can see. Like, for example, if you had like the there. walking spire... Well, you can see the walking spire and the guy riding it. I just don't know why we did any of that. But, like, the lighthouse isn't lit up. You don't actually collect any of those coins. They just kind of stay there. You missed the achievement for it, by the way. Uh, you didn't get the shark teeth. You didn't do anything with that spaghetti medallion you picked up near the mm. microscope at the beginning. So, yeah. I'm starting to think that the game might have been a little front-heavy. 
has a whole bunch of stuff to begin with, and then as you go along, it gets more and more sparse. And then it turns into a rail shooter. Told you. Wait until we get to the rail shooter and then go into space. You thought I was making a joke. No. So, I think I'd give this game a 5 out of 10. It has a lot of good elements to it. Yeah. It, it seems like they could have used a better director for it. It needs a little bit better polish. I would say it's about Bethesda level for polish. It didn't crash. Didn't crash. We didn't get stuck anywhere, obvious. Like, physically stuck. We didn't I'm get... sure you could if you tried. There's a lot of invisible walls in this game. They give, they, they go out of their way to put invisible walls so you can't get stuck. I... You can't <sighs> climb up anywhere either. They really shouldn't... There, there's a lot of neat things that they give you that you can interact with and look at, but you can't pick them up and take them with you or and use no them. And there's no purpose to them? Yeah, other than to look at them. Because there was probably only five actual puzzles. Everything else was just... Were they puzzles, though, or were they just activate the things in this specific order? I would call the cubes underwater a puzzle, because you sort of have a through line of what you're supposed to do with them. But the one before that, where you had to, like, activate the pillar, you just have to touch each of the... the touch each of the things. The spheres, and then touch the one matter. in the back. Yeah. You just have to touch it. I wouldn't call that a puzzle. That's just sort of... It's a switch. Throw the switch. Yeah. Throw the switch. Throw the switch. Throw the switch. No, no. Is The whole game was find the key, start the generator. Yeah, kind of. Find the key, start the generator. Find the key, start the generator. Solve the one puzzle to open the door that floats weird. Find mm -hmm. the key, start the generator. I would have liked a little more <laughs> critical thinking. Like, I don't know. That one puzzle where it was a bunch of symbols. Mm. All you had to do was match the symbols. That's toddler level puzzle but then they put that one key out in the middle of nowhere that's hard to find stone on top of stone yeah among uh, a bunch of elements that you've already looked at before make it obvious put it in the center of a weird sand sculpture of some sort like a sand garden kind of swirly pattern or something not to mention it was a little bit inconsistent with what had the cthulhu marker pop up so that you could find it or that you had to shoot a door to activate it yeah. That was kind of weird. Yeah, it's not like they gave you the thing and then immediately make you shoot it at a door once, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll try that on other things. Imagine if you picked up the cube inside of a chamber that closed behind you and you had to shoot the door to get out. Yeah, just the, you don't even have to say a single thing. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is... Put you in the in a closed you... space with the laser. A safe space. Yeah. And let you try it. Not in the middle of a running sequence. Or two or three. No. Uh, Eliminate the running sequences. There are so many of them. It does not create difficulty. It creates frustration and frustration. frustration. Yeah. Especially the first one when you fall into the pit. Immediately drops you in front of the monster and it can attack you. Yeah. Have it further away. So when you drop down the pit, it like focuses you on it. And gives you time to actually like look around for a second. Give an audio or cue. Or have it have a trigger. Like, Something. Anything. As soon as you try to escape, it'll start chasing. Imagine if you were, like, running forward, and then it started to come at you. Mm -hmm. With, like, flailing tentacles and making weird noises, so you turn around. And then you notice it. Yeah, no matter which direction you start going forward in, you have to turn around. Mm. Because you can do that with computers. You can just put your entrance and exit anywhere. They're arbitrary. Or say your path is blocked a little bit. You walk forward to check it out. All of a sudden, there's a rumbling. You look behind you, you see it. And the thing in front of you goes away. Something like that. No, having things change behind you is kind of frustrating. I have a couple games like that. Hmm. Where it's like, you look at this wall, and it like does a different thing than if you walk backwards into this wall. It does a different hmm. thing. You want to play that game? Possibly. This... <laughs> These developers, they have... They have promise. Grand ideas that don't quite pan out the way you expect. A little bit more effort on the game design rather than the models and the world. I think it would be really good. Maybe... It's a little short, too. The shortness is fine. It's too densely packed at the intro, though. 
you're not discovering anything new after you pick up that uh, triangle, right? There's a little bit of narration. Yeah, there's narration, but there's no... Oh, hey, I found a cool artifact. I'll look at it. Maybe I'll bring it somewhere else. Hmm. I think they sort of stop doing that once you get to the point where you're teleporting from place to place to place to place. Yeah. The only time you're in a one central hub area is the lighthouse. They give you a big island, but then they just teleport you everywhere. And it's not even the same part of the island or spots that you can see from the island. It's just different <sighs> maps. I didn't necessarily have a bearing on the island. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, I'm this far from the lighthouse. It was more, okay, I'm on any island. It doesn't matter which. What I would like is a almost like a hand-drawn paper map, and as you progress, it fills in more of it. Yeah, maybe. Like, even a little glowing indicator of where you are, representing by, the, like, the, uh, the triangle, maybe. Just And it shows something. you on, like, different parts of the map. So if you get lost, hey, look, you can look at your map. But, I don't know, why going to your giving... inventory that disappears. Why were we given an inventory at all? Why? Good question. There were five items and lore yep that's it uh one to make sure you pick up a key yep and two to make sure you pick up the round keys that's it and then there's also... a couple pictures you can look at and there's a a statue that you pick up for some reason the one statue the 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 chest piece the shark tooth that you don't need yeah the squid medallion <sighs> thing that's it know. Look at those friends. Look at them go. Look at them go. Right in that Uber. Beep, beep. All right. I guess we're out of here. That's our uh, critical review of the shore. Uh, I'd say pick it up if you want to get a closer look at some of this stuff, because it is impressive, the models. That's about it. Yeah. Don't, don't expect an amazing story. <laughs> don't look too closely at a bunch of things. Some environments are really nice. The underwater looked pretty cool. It was okay. Yeah. I mean, you you can make things float in space on a computer. Yeah. Make it blue and then you're underwater. You didn't really <laughs> explore very much underwater either. No. You just sort of walk up to some pillars. It, it locks you into one specific path. It's very on rails. I think that might have been to try to make it more cohesive of where your path is, but... Well, you, you, path you had to jump down that underwater path there was nowhere else to go nowhere else to explore nothing to see or pick up or interact with there's a lot of cool stuff down there but you can't do anything with it remember when you're walking along the shoreline there's like those little um sticks sticking out of the ground you can like pick up a statue and look at it for a little bit and put it back yeah what was the deal with that there was no payoff nope they were fun to look at but imagine if you could do that you know under underwater there's like a neat shell or something or uh piece of equipment or weird part of a ship that you can look at or maybe like a reference like they could have a name of a ship like the Titanic or whatever yeah or um I don't know a, a famous airplane that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle like I where would... even are you in this I don't know yeah I would be interested to see this game from a perspective out of bounds that would be kind of neat yeah, I'd like to see all the invisible walls. Because I'm sure they put a lot of work into things you don't <laughs> even get to look at. But If there's any out-of-bounds secrets. Yeah. Show me a Boundary Break episode of this. You yeah. know what we can do, though? What can we do? We can pick it up the next video. With something new? Maybe. All right. Bye-bye.